up guys, Dark J here and I'm bringing you another Miner's Haven video. Today, I got a guest with me, uh, Arikara from Arikara Games. Hey! <laughs> that was really lame, but alright. Oh, oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> no, my, I, I've been like, my, oh, my oh, thing. I, I, thought you were, I thought you were saying that my, uh, my whole intro was lame, it was about uh, to be like, man, come on. Yeah, I have some critique problems with your stuff, no. <laughs> oh, 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 thanks, thanks, thanks. Uh, if you see my videos, then you would know that, like, I fail on every single thing that I do. Oh, <laughs> your, your videos aren't bad. <laughs> have you seen my dance face? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, uh, guys, well, I will leave a link to her channel in the description. I um, today, <clears throat> I am going to be, well, as a request from you guys, you guys have asked me to showcase the Reborn items. <clears throat> And uh, today, I'm going to um, showcase two of them. Big Bertha and the Dreamer's Fright. I know last time I made a comment about me being scared to use Dreamer's Fright, mostly because it takes uh, reputation points away from you. And, well, after a while of thinking about it, thinking about it, I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to try it and see how much reputation it takes. And... I was actually really shocked to find out that it doesn't take much. It only takes a couple hundred here and there, and you grab like one or two crates, and um, you've more than made it back. So, as long as you grab a crate here and there, you're good. So, first thing I'm going to start off with is showing you guys how I put Big Bertha to use. And I'm going to bring up the description of Big Bertha first here. One of those green things you have surrounding it. Well, I'll get to that. No, <laughs> tell me now. <laughs> um, those green things, well actually I can't bring up the description because it's already placed. But anyway, Big Bertha, what it does is promises to multiply any ore that goes in it by 12. And it doesn't like return customers, so I'm assuming that means that ore can only go through at one time. Um, the green things that Arikara is so, uh... Intent on asking about here. They look here. like snobs, so that's why I was wondering. <laughs> is, <laughs> is teleporters, so that way when I'm flinging the ore through Big Bertha, <clears throat> there's a chance that some of them might go astray. They can land in the teleporter, come back to the teleporter receiver, and get launched at it a second time. Oh, now, yeah. Like you're forcing them to die. Like there's just absolutely no chance of escape. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what you said. <laughs> now, if you guys will notice here, um, I did change up my main build a little bit. Um, before I had 16 Schrodingers in the beginning, and now I've only got 12 in the beginning, and then I have my Flaming Schrodinger at the end, and the reason for that is because I'm flinging ore into Big Bertha, and I have a chance of losing some ores at the end, so... And I am multiplying it by 12, so I cut down on the Schrodinger's just so I have more ore to have a better chance of getting something into the, um, the furnace at the end. Um, now, this is the Dreamer's Fright. The Dreamer's Fright multiplies your ore by 45 times. So, literally whatever ore comes through your system, it, it gets multiplied 45 times in Dreamer's Fright. But, That's the downside... Fancy. is what? That's fancy. Oh, it is fancy. But the downside is that it takes RP from you at random. Now... I was actually talking about how the tree looks like cotton candy. I don't actually care about this. <laughs> Whoa. Because it's pretty. <laughs> oh, because it's, it's pretty. Okay. <laughs> oh, because of you. <laughs> uh, all right, so Arikara doesn't actually care about the stats. I do, about... I do. I just heard it <laughs> take stuff away. And she... then I was like, oh, wait, it looks like cotton candy. That's fine. I'll do it. <laughs> so she cares about the aesthetics. <laughs> but, but that's okay, you know. Um... But as you guys can see, wow, somebody just reborn. So that is a big explosion. Was that stupid fingers person? Lightning bolt refining. Good job. Nice, buddy. All right. So, Dreamer's Fright, like I said, multiplies it by 45 times, making it the second most powerful furnace in the game, 
Um, I was afraid to use it before because it takes uh, RP away, but as you can see, my RP is actually higher than the last video I made, so grabbing a few crates more than covers the cost of the Dreamer's Fright for its uses. Okay, so I have a quick question. What happens if somebody gets it and they're not really into, like, crate hunting, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> like what happens if they get down to zero? Uh, that RP stuff up there. Like, wh what happens then? Like, does the whole system just not work anymore? And then they're kind of like, screw because they don't have a better furnace? Well, like, what happens if they build their entire thing around this furnace? Well, I would imagine if they got down to zero RP... I, now, I don't know for sure because I haven't tested this, but if you got down to zero RP, I would imagine that it would still work, but you wouldn't be able to unlock certain things in the store that require RP to even get information on, let alone to use. So, it would be like a, a bad restriction for you, but once you're in like the... But do you think that it would still give you like the money output? I would imagine so. I can't see it not paying for the ore. I don't know. Um, and I don't think I can really test that because it would take a very long time to lose all my RP unless somebody killed me over and over again like a million times. Uh, five years later he'll come back to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, five years later I'll, <laughs> test, I'll test that in five years, guys. So, this is my new setup and uh, um, as you can see I am at 80.5 SX and you know what that means, guys. It is time to reborn. Buy Barisa Cola and your uh, hallucinogenic parts. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's fun! It's the fun <laughs> way to commit suicide, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, wait, do you want me to stand on it while I'm, while I'm blowing it up? Yeah. See, 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 see stand if on I... the Barisa Cola so it's like a farewell while you blow everything up. Okay, alright. Hold on. Yeah, right there. Uh, alright, good. I'm on it. I'm You're on good. it. Okay. Here we go. I'm gonna reborn. Wait, did I? Am I maimed? I lost my legs. <laughs> <laughs> like, like seriously, I lost my. No, guys, I, I have no legs. Oh my! It's so <laughs> funny because like your wings. <laughs> guys, guys, I need you, help. You should go walk I, over to your friend and like need, help me. I need a doctor. <laughs> so help. Funny. Hey, stupid fingers person, where stupid, are you? Stupid fingers, use your fingers and help me. Where are you? <laughs> help me. Help oh. me. Oh man, I lost my legs. Why? I don't understand. Why did they punish you for doing something good? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what I got because I know you guys are anticipating to see what I got from that. Um, determining here, I got. I already had three of those. I already had three of those and three of those. What's that? Um, it looks like pineapples. Had, what? Oh, that's my ray guns. Oh. Flaming Schrodinger. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. um, doo -doo -doo. I had one of these already. Oh, I got another big Bertha. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna use two big Berthas unless I got. See, that's the thing. I don't have any of the Newtonium mines or the Fire Crystal mines or anything like that. Um, but if I had a Newtonium mine, I could probably set up the Newtonium mine, have it drop directly in Big Bertha in the beginning, and then still use my, uh, my setup at the end that I showed you guys, um, to multiply by 12, so that would probably net me a whole lot of cash. Maybe you could do two different teleporter things set up to go through the big, two different Big Berthas and then just have them meet at the end. Um, well... Into, like, one... Well, like, like do a like Y shape, it, like do like a Y shape that like like where it splits <coughs> off into two and then goes right. into two separate. I, and then it can go through the same amount of like 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 everything maybe, would go into like the same amount of stuff, but then it would split maybe. Off. But I just don't see the benefit of doing that because in the end they're all gonna go to the same spot and like you don't you want too much ore. Not really because since I when mean, can you ever have too much money? Yeah, but that's not the case. The, ca ah, okay. the case is being that, you know, okay. now you're adding more, sp you're taking up more space oh. to where it's gonna, you know what I'm saying? You can, you have to restrict the rest of your oh. uh, setup. Somebody's talking to you. Oh, sorry. Recording. Oh. 
But, oh, and by the way, I have to say, Ari Carla loves the music that is playing right now. Oh I my mean, god, yes. You know, she's a big anime freak, so... <laughs> <laughs> it's just going. It's just going. <laughs> so let's see what I got from the boxes, the crates. By the uh, way, um, off topic, what, what? since you started talking about anime. What? what? Uh, have you seen that they're going to be doing a live action role play of uh, uh, Ghost in the Machine? Or, no, Ghost in the Shell, I mean. Ghost in the Shell? Oh, yeah. That would be, that would be cool. They, I they mean, have that Scarlett would... Johansson as the main What? Character. But how did they get Scarlet? I mean, is this like a professional studio? Yes. That's doing this or? And oh. everybody's like up in arms about it, but I saw a picture of her and she looks exactly like the chick. Oh, wow. Like, exactly. <laughs> now that's cool. Yeah. That is cool. All right, guys. So I had a couple of questions from you guys saying, what is the best way to get your money back after um, reborning? And there's, there's a couple of things. Um, for instance, I mean, if you're lucky enough to get a new bite mine, obviously that's going to be one of the quickest to get you into quadrillions, starting off after Reborn, to get you your money back. Um, a lot of you, though, aren't as lucky to get the new bite mine, so there are other methods. Um, there is the fire crystal mine, like Ari Caro was trying to mention there, um, which does work. And then there's also, I mean, if you're lucky enough to get Nature's Grip and you have an Industrial Rainbow Mine, that will work as well. And why am I not able to... It doesn't like me. Oh, that's cool. I can't, I can't, I, I can't use my... Okay, so... Well, Catch anyway, I guess, I guess, <laughs> I guess I'll just explain it because the lag is killing me here. Um... Well... You can use any type, say if you get a pirate loot collector and the industrial rainbow mine, you can literally butt the industrial rainbow mine right up against any of the, any cell furnace will work actually, and then uh, um, feed it coal, and that'll get you a nice boost, get you up to where you can start building your end game builds. So right after reborn, it just, you know, it really depends on the items that you get to determine whether or not you can get back up there quickly. Now. No reborn item is going to net you nothing, okay? They're all pretty decent in their own way. Even if you get just a massive diamond mine, dropping that directly into a cell furnace nets you quite a bit. It is actually worth a heck of a lot more than any of the other diamond mines. And if you even get... Let's, let's look at... I mean, the only... I actually know... I, take that back. There is one item that, you know, if you get on your first reborn, I feel bad for you. And that's the Righteous Will because that will give you no cash at all. What is it? It is an infuser. Now, it's an awesome infuser. It grants complete immunity to uh, explosive infuse enemies and then uh, high chance to survive zombies. Gives you some health and speed. Oh, well, that's... Oh, my God. I would be so, so angry. I mean, yeah, so, I mean, if you got that on your first reborn, that would kind of suck. But chances are you're going to get something. I mean, even in a lightning bolt refiner, you could use this in your setup, click it, and it'll give you 70% uh, increase to whatever is, you know, going through your stuff. So, I mean, there's a few different things, and I will try to make a video strictly right after reborn to show getting up there quickly and I, I'll try not to use anything like a new bite or anything like that just to show you guys because the new bites actually really rare <clears throat> and I've been using that just to get up to a hundred quadrillion really quick so I can build end game setups so something just blew across the screen what something just flew across the screen there's a lot it was probably a box oh or somebody in a jetpack. Let's get the crap out of here. It's like you're under attack. Yeah. <laughs> We're under attack. Hit the deck. <laughs> I was like, you already lost your legs. You can't lose much more. I can't. I can't. I'm hobbling. <laughs> oh, and uh, to, end, to wrap this video up, guys, I wanted to let you know I did create a group on Roblox, a uh, Dark J gaming group. So if you guys join it, um, in there you will see that. Ooh, ooh, yellow box. You will see the nice shirt that I'm wearing right here, Dark J. Oh, somebody's gonna steal it from me. Oh, no. But I have. Attack him. I have this shirt on my thing. You can get it in either black or white. It's only two Roblox. Um, so join the group, Dark J Gaming, um, to get updates on all my uh, um, YouTube videos. I will try to post all my updates there so that way you guys get the latest and greatest information. And. 
Um, now, I'm not 100% sure on this next thing yet, but as of right now, <clears throat> um, Foxy, the uh, um, one of the uh, um, main model developers for uh, Bariza right now is working on something that hopefully I'll be able to give you guys for something for viewing me and actually following me. Um, so we'll see in the future here if that if that pans out. I'm not gonna say too much because I don't really you know want to promise something that I can't give, but hopefully something works out with that, and you guys will have something for being such loyal fans. And I thank you so much. And as always, stay awesome. All right, Carl, you want to sign off with me? What do I say? Do I say, do I any, just say, say, say anything. Bye. Bye. Don't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta speak louder than that. I mean. um. I said, don't fail at games. Yeah, okay. Don't do drugs, kids. Yeah, don't do not do drugs. That's bad. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, as always, stay awesome. I'm Dark J. If you like this video, then like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends. I'm out there. And if you guys need to see uh, me explain or build something that is whether or not you are having trouble with anything in the game, just let me know in the comments section, and I'll try to help you out. And... I'm out.